this is a piece of platinum wire that I'm going to anneal um, so that it's nice and malleable for me to create a shank of a ring. I'm using easy gas and oxygen and I'm going to create quite a, a nice hot flame because platinum needs heat. I'm using my protective goggles, otherwise I can damage my, my eyes. All right, I think that's enough. With my platinum, I've, I've um, annealed it. I don't like to quench my platinum. Some people do. Um, when they do quench it, they use mess um, because mess cools it down slower than it would if you place it in water. So what I just do is I will place my platinum on a bench block and it will slowly cool down. With platinum, um, we only work with titanium, tweezers or a titanium pick. Some people use tungsten. You can't use normal stainless steel um, picks and tweezers, it contaminates. So that's one of the things that we keep completely separately. When sawing platinum, it's very similar to copper, which means it's quite almost chewy. It's quite um, sticky. Okay, so what I've done now is I've just cut off the edge so I've got a nice flush point, but you can see as I do the metal, there's a little hollow space. So I'm just gonna cut that off. There we go. Right, perfectly flush point. What I'm going to do is file that down. And I'm going to measure how long my piece of metal needs to be for me to be able to make the shank. 58 mils. That's where I need to cut it. Made my mark. And then again, I'm going to saw it. File off that little burr. Have a nice flush in. Now what I can do is bend it around and make the ring. So I've got my straight piece and now, look, I can bend just using the strength in my hands. Whereas with 9 karat gold, I struggle to do this. Okay, I'm getting it to a point where I need to anneal it a bit more. Let's see how far I can push it. Okay, I'm going to move again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get my, I mean, this is really basic. This is Jewelry 101, is I'm going to get my points together and then I'm going to solder them, which basically attaches them. Okay, I'm going to re-anneal it. So it gets nice and soft again for me. See the beautiful cherry red that it goes. Voila. Yeah, so I'm just going to let that pull. I'm going to cut my solder in the meantime. So what I'm trying to create is a really flush fit because with platinum, the solder I use is not going to fill up a hole. So I need to have my two sides nice and flush. So if you look at that, I've got a little bit of a space there. So what I'm gonna do is run my saw blade through it so I can get a nice flush. This is the most amazing thing, it's called a ring clamp. So what I'm gonna do is just run this through here. See, I've got nice and straight through. Can you see how my space is now much smaller? Which is also why you don't see solder seams. What I am going to do is put it in my cleaning solution. Um, we use alum for pickling, just to make sure that I have no grease on my two surfaces. So that's beautiful and ready for me to solder. 